This is a Coleman PowerMate generator. It's a fairly common gasoline generator. It's powered by a Tecumseh 8 horsepower engine. I got it shortly after Hurricane Ike. But I've decided to convert it to run on natural gas. I purchased a tri fuel conversion kit from US Carb to let it run on natural gas. And I'll be converting it uh, shortly. So this is just to show you what it looks like beforehand. Now what I have done is around the corner here and I've created a connection for the natural gas. This is my natural gas line. Some people have connected using this uh, port that's pretty standard on uh, natural gas lines. Uh, looks like about a 3 8 inch tap. But I already had a tap for a pool spa heater. And so what I did is I teed off that connection. I just put in a uh, three quarters with a one half connection and, and that uh, connection coming up is what I put in. Really only about $20 in part. Most of that was about $15 to $20. But most of that was the uh, switch or valve, cutoff valve. I'm not sure I needed that. And then at the top is a quick disconnect. So I have a quick disconnect uh, hose. I have a 12 foot uh, half inch uh, line hose to connect up. So I'll show you that later. The thing I like about it is when it's not connected, it can't be seen when you walk through it. So it just kind of looks normal. This is with the uh, air filter cover off. You see those two screws there? They're, they're two short screws that hold that bracket on, so they'll come out. The kit provided two longer screws, and you put the, uh, the adapter in and then that bracket back on. It looks straightforward. So the adapter's on. That proved to be uh, really easy. It didn't take very long. It wasn't very difficult at all. So now I have to put on the regulator. I'm kind of struggling with where to go with it. Uh, they kind of recommend one of the locations is this bottom uh, one inch uh, square rail. The trouble with that, it'd be very close to the, uh, you see right there, the exhaust. I put it on there and measured. It would only be about two inches from the uh, T or the load block off the regulator. I could put it on the lugs down here, down real low, then it'd only be about an inch and a half from the ground. I kind of don't like that, and it's still pretty pretty close. So I'm going to try to put it around here. I'll put pictures, put it on the side here. I think there's still space to do the pull, so we'll see how that works out. I'll put up some pictures. Uh. Okay, here we are with the regulator installed. I just drilled two holes in the uh, frame there and screwed it on and uh, hooked everything up for the instructions. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I should say at this point, uh, the total cost of this, I'm getting ready to fire it up, the total cost is about $280. Uh, the kit from US Carb with shipping was 200 I found a half inch hose, 12 foot, with quick disconnect uh, for $60 and then about $20 in parts uh, for the fittings, and etc. So there we are. Fine.
final look before I put it away. I will say, looking right here, you see a little piece of duct tape. I had trouble with the uh, load block screw vibrating. For me, six between six and seven turns provided the best uh, result, but, uh, but it would vibrate. <laughs> and uh, after I started it, I found that it uh, came around. It was starting to die off, and I noticed that it had moved. I had marked on the on the on the bolt on it. Uh, the magic marker and I saw that they had moved anyway so there it is seems to work good